Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Following storms Arwen and Barra, a lot of people might be wondering when the weather will turn more settled. And the good news is that in the next 10 days, the weather is likely to turn more settled as higher pressure builds later. But it's going to take much of the next 10 days for that more settled weather to develop widely across the UK. It will often be breezy with rain at times at first and it will turn increasingly mild heading into the weekend and the start of next week, particularly in the south and southwest. Here's the last of Storm Barra, however. At the time of recording, it's still with us, but it is a filling area of low pressure. It's the last remaining weather front clearing away from northern and eastern parts of the UK as we start off Thursday. The next weather system soon coming along from the west, but in between, this subtle ridge of high pressure brings a little gap in between weather systems. So cloud and some showers to begin things as Storm Barra moves away. And then this slice of sunshine working its way east across the country so that it's across eastern parts of the UK by Thursday afternoon. Six or seven degrees where we get the sunny skies in the east whilst it turns milder further west as cloud and some rain move in from the Atlantic. Nothing particularly troublesome with this cloud and uh, outbreaks of rain. It moves east across the UK on Thursday night. It's out of the way by Friday and it's replaced by sunny spells and showers. Hail and thunder possible in the west where the showers will be most frequent. A better chance of some sunny spells in the east and temperatures at or slightly below average in many spots. Some wintriness, some snow falling over the mountains I think out of these showers but nothing out of the ordinary. Then clearing skies on Friday night leads to a widespread frost on Saturday morning, a chilly start to the weekend, temperatures in some rural spots dipping a few degrees below freezing. But it's already turning milder in the far west as the next weather front arrives. This is similar to Fridays. It's an area of rain that moves in during Saturday, bringing a spell of wet weather to many parts. Mostly this is rain, any snow confined to the tops of the Scottish mountains. But nevertheless, it will be cold ahead of that after that chilly start before the mild air moves in from the west later on with this slice of Atlantic air pushing through. The heaviest rain will be in the north. It will tend to be light and drizzly further south, I think. And it will be breezy in the north as well with lighter winds further south. By Sunday, the trailing back edge of that weather front still affects the south of the UK. So for South Wales, southern England, dull and dreary to start things off on Sunday. A lot of low cloud, hill fog, coastal mist and some outbreaks of rain and drizzle. That slowly edges north through the day so that by the end of the afternoon and into the evening it's moving north because of this area of low pressure which is also moving north, also very mild in the south and west on Sunday whilst it stays colder to the northeast. Here's that low, it moves north to bring the spell of wind and rain to northern parts of the UK on Sunday night with some wet weather trailing back once again across southern parts of the UK. And once that low moves away from the north on Monday, it's followed by blustery showers, but some sunshine, some brighter spells for Scotland and Northern Ireland, whilst England and Wales stay cloudy and in the far south, further rain at times because of the trailing weather front there that's stuck over the south and some heavy rain at times, possibly for the southwest. But again, it'll be mild in the south, 11, 12, 13 Celsius, whilst it stays a bit colder further north. Now, heading into the middle of next week, that low moves away. The next couple of lows are coming along, but they're moving well to the north of the country. And that means that we'll still get their weather fronts, but those weather fronts will predominantly affect northwestern parts of the UK, and we'll get this mild southwesterly breeze. So it's going to turn quite mild, I think, into the middle of next week. And here's the general setup for the middle of next week. Low pressure pushing out towards Iceland, trailing weather fronts bringing cloud, rain and wind at times to northwestern areas, whilst high pressure increasingly building to the south of the country, helping to settle things down across southern areas. Then, towards the end of the next week, a strong signal for that high pressure to build further north, gradually turning things more settled across the country. We'll begin to lose that strong southwesterly, so temperatures perhaps returning closer to average by the end of next week. Nothing cold signalled right now, but returning closer to average and that high pressure bringing more widely dry and settled weather as we end next week. And there are strong signals for that change from low pressure to high pressure through next week and you can see that on this chart here. The blue colours represent low pressure, the red colours represent high pressure and essentially the stronger the blues, the more likely low pressure will be in charge, the stronger the reds, 
the more likely high pressure will be in charge. This top row is the latest model run, and the date of the forecast goes out to the top there, going out to two weeks. And you can see that marks change from strong blues at the moment in the next few days. Then a transition period through next week with neither low pressure or high pressure particularly dominant. Before end of next week, we get those strong reds. And that signal uh, has been evident in well, all the previous model runs as well for that same period. End of next week, higher pressure building. So the weather is settling down. But at first next week, it is going to be unsettled in the northwest for a time with rain and wind for northern and western Scotland in particular. It will be mild with those southwesterlies coming in from the Atlantic, but eventually through next week, it's going to turn drier much more widely. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the day-to-day -day detail and you can follow those updates on the Met Office social media channels. Bye-bye.